All right, guys. Oops. Mr. Martin back again. I know I just finished another live video a few minutes ago, but I wanted to get this one out of the way too. So this time we'll be going over arm training. Arm training is very important for most people just because having a bigger arm, bigger bicep, bigger tricep will make you bigger and more impressive in general. And the tricep especially is very, very important when it comes to your pressing power. And all it presses is just pushing off your body. So I have a few exercises listed for the biceps and the triceps. These are the staples that I use for arm training for most of the people I coach. Just give me one second. How's it going, guys? For the biceps, the big staple is the barbell curl. Take a normal bar, you curl up like this, go nice and slow and controlled. That's gonna be the biggest uh, mass builder that you're gonna be able to do for your biceps. Dumbbell curl is a variation of that. You can take dumbbells and do one arm at a time. That's good if you have an imbalance. Hammer curl, that's a dumbbell curl where your grip is sideways like this. You don't supinate your hand. You keep your hand neutral grip like this, curl like this. This is very good for the forearms and the brachialis, which is a muscle that lies between the, the bicep and the tricep up in here. Reverse curl, that is a barbell curl with an overhand grip with no thumb. So your thumb goes over the top of the bar. This is also very good for your, um, for your forearm and for your brachialis. That's the barbell version of the hammer curl. Next, we have triceps. Barbell skull crusher is one of the staples that I use. It's gonna help train that long head of the tricep in here, which is the biggest part of your arm. That'll help your arm get the biggest, the quickest. All a barbell skull crusher is, you take either a curl bar, like an easy curl bar, or a standard barbell, you hold it above your face like you're gonna bench press, and you bend your elbows back and touch your forehead with the bar, which is why it's called a skull crusher, because you're touching your skull. Next is a dumbbell extension. Now these can be done in multiple variations. You can do them overhead, you can lay on a bench and do them here, you can lay on the ground and do them here. An extension is something where your elbow is straightening out with the dumbbell, okay? That's what we're doing. Next up is cable extensions. If you have a cable machine in a gym, or if you have a lat pull-down machine like we do here at Le Grand, that's one of the staples that people use. They have the lat pull-down machine, they grab it, they go like that with the cable. So they get a very isolated movement on the triceps. Those are the staples that I use for most of the training here. There, um, I would also you classify push-ups under the tricep training, but I use that for more bench training in general. A very important thing I have to stress is to pick one or two exercises at a time. If you pick a bunch of exercises at the time, you're gonna run out of exercises to switch out to when, um, when the ones you're using get stale, okay? If you take this list here and you do all of them at the same time, what are you gonna switch to when they stop working or when you get bored? There's nothing else to switch to. It's kind of like eating all your favorite foods at the same time. That's an analogy I heard the other day. You want to switch up and have your favorite foods at different times so they all are good at the same time. If you mix them all together, you're going to get a board of all of them at the same time. So that's why I stress picking two at a time, and that way you get to focus on whatever one you pick. And here's the progression I use for arm training. I do not worry about the amount of weight that is in the bar. When I'm talking about arm training, I worry about the quality of the repetitions that you're completing. If you put on a bunch of weight on a barbell or pick up dumbbells that are way too heavy and you try to curl them or you try to extend them, if you just throw around weight, you are not going to get very good uh, progress. The most important thing is pick a weight that is suitable for you that you can handle with complete confidence and under control and make sure you hit it for a lot of quality volume. That's going to be how you grow the quickest and the biggest. Nobody cares how much you can curl. Nobody cares how much you can hit with a skull crusher. That doesn't matter. All that matters is that your arms are getting bigger and stronger. So week one would be three sets of 15 to 20. I give people a range on this depending on the person. Sometimes I'll push it up to 25, but that's rare. Week one, three by 15 to 20. Week two, four by 15 to 20. Week three, five by 15 to 20. And now when we're doing this, I'll do this progression. I'll do it twice and I'll add five or 10 pounds the second time around from the first time. And then we either repeat it again or we switch out the exercises and run those two cycles back to back again. That is how I implement arm training into people's uh, program, and that's how you should too if you don't know what you're doing or if you need a little bit of guidance. I hope this helped. Uh, I'll do another live next week sometime. Thank you guys for tuning in.